Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds once again. Are you feeling lost? Lacking direction? Not sure where you're headed? Well, if your concerns are geographical, have we got the solution for you. Sparkman is introducing four new products to our GPS line to help you find your way. We've got a pair of quick boards and also a pair of antennas, antennae, to help get you going. First, there's the Sparkfun SAM M8Q GPS breakout. The SAM M8Q is a 72-channel GNSS receiver, meaning it can receive signals from GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, and Beidou satellite constellations. It offers 2.5 meter horizontal accuracy, heading accuracy of 0.3 degrees, velocity accuracy of 0.05 meters per second with a maximum velocity of 500 meters per second, and a maximum operating altitude of 50,000 meters. That is the outer reaches of the stratosphere kissing the mesosphere. And with a built-in antenna and our quick system, this board can be a quick plug-and-play solution to get you up and geolocating in no time. The UART pins are also broken out, and pinouts match the industry standard, making it easy to directly connect to our serial basic adapter. Next, we have the SparkFun ZO M8Q GPS breakout. Like the SAM M8Q, the ZO M8Q is also a 72-channel GNSS receiver, so it too can receive signals from all the major global positioning satellite constellations. Additionally, its specs match those of the SAM M8Q, 2.5 meter horizontal accuracy, heading accuracy of 0.3 degrees, velocity accuracy of 0.05 meters per second, maximum velocity of 500 meters per second, and that crazy maximum altitude of 50 kilometers. And it too has the industry standard UART pinout for serial communication. The difference is that this board doesn't have an onboard antenna, but it does have a UFL connector, so you can add an external antenna to suit your needs. Which brings us to our antenna offerings. First, let's look at our new Molex flexible GNSS antenna. This is a great basic antenna, able to pick up GPS, Galileo, Beidou, and GLONASS in three different frequency bands. The antenna itself measures in at 40.4 millimeters by 15.4 millimeters, while the adhesive pad is a bit bigger at 56.4 by 20. Plus, the antenna is only 0.1 millimeters thick and flexible, so if you do decide to adhere to something, the surface needn't be flat. It sports a 50 millimeter UFL cable, weighs in at less than half a gram, has a peak gain of 1.1 dBi and an efficiency greater than 74%. If you need a basic GNSS antenna, you can add this one to your collection for basically the change you find in your couch. But what if you don't know which antenna is right for you? Reading specs is great, but sometimes you really just want to field test your options. That's why we're introducing the SparkFun GNSS Chip Antenna Evaluation Board. This board actually has six different GNSS antennas, each with its own UFL connector, so you can test each one. There's one TE Puck single band antenna, the W3062A and the W3011, and three different Molex antennas. And once you decide which antenna is right for your project, you can snap the board apart and just use the antenna you need and save the other five for other projects. So what do you say we take some of this GPS equipment out for a little test run? So when I said test run, I meant a run. As we all know, with GPS, you can not only discern location, but also speed, point A to point B over time. So since I really don't enjoy running, I've made myself a little inspirational coach that'll run with me. I've used the ZO M8Q along with our flexible Molex antenna, and it will encourage me depending on how fast or slowly I'm going. Let's try it out. So if I'm running at an appropriate speed, it encourages me appropriately. Now, if I slow down to say a walk, the encouragement changes to someone perhaps whose views I don't agree with. I'd love for you to learn the top 21 reasons why I became a flat earther. Nope. And if I come to a complete stop, well then there's a whole new motivation altogether. Godzilla! So there you have it. The SAM M8Q, the ZO M8Q, the Molex flexible antenna, and the chip antenna evaluation board. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and as always, happy hacking.